Corin, welcome back to the channel. Monica Louvre here at The Love Messages. So today we're going to be doing your reading from the 1st to the 5th of March. Now this is going to be a general reading, so it may resonate with you, it may not. If it does resonate with you, there will be a link in the description box for the extended. So Capricorn, In this reading, I'm going to be taking a look at past, present, and future for you. I'm going to clarify the cards and pull some advice. Okay, so your challenge for the first week of March is the Two of Cups. And what you don't see coming at the bottom of the deck, you have the world. Okay. So for you, Capricorn, your challenge has a lot to do with the Two of Cups. This could be about a relationship that you're involved in. I definitely feel like this is your relationship could be challenging for you at this time, especially with the changes that are taking place. We're going to clarify this and get more information for you in a moment. Now, in the recent past, you have the Knight of Cups in reverse. You have the King of Swords upright and you have the High Priestess upright. So I feel like in the recent past, there was this stability, okay, with a particular person that you were in love with. I feel like if there was instability in the past that changed and things started to become more stable, you have the King of Swords here with the High Priestess. So I really do feel like there's a lot of mental energy that was going on in the past. Okay, when I say mental, I don't mean crazy. I mean like mental activity, like thinking a lot, um, analyzing a lot, you know, and there was a very strong connection here in the past. Maybe you and this person shared something that you really enjoyed doing, like researching or something, um, in relation to the element of air, okay? Uh, we're gonna find out more when we clarify in a moment. Now, in the present moment, you have the Queen of Swords, you have the Seven of Cups, and you have the Six of Cups. So it looks like in the present moment for you, there is this strong connection that you have with someone. I do get a sense here, there's a lot of illusions and uncertainty regarding this situation. Could have a lot to do with the fact that somebody here has become extremely logical. They've been less emotional and more logical with you. And the Six of Cups is telling me that you and this person have had a very, very strong bond like since the past, okay? And we're gonna find out more about this for you in a moment. Now, in the near future, you have the Five of Cups, you have the Nine of Pentacles, and you have the Three of Cups. So it looks like in the near future, there's a choice here, okay? Um, some of you are going to be choosing to go off and be on your own, okay? Some of you may decide to start a new business or you may decide to um, completely, you know, disconnect and, uh, walk away from a very disappointing situation because something here in the near future happens that makes you say, hey, maybe now is the time to disconnect and leave. And you have the world here as well, right? So some sort of cycle is closing out for you. If you're a Capricorn, you know, sun, moon, arising, your ruler is going to be moving house in the next few days. So, I mean, that's what's taking place for you right now. Something here that's been extremely disappointing in the near future it kind of forces you into this place with the three of cups of like, ooh, let me free myself from this. Especially if you're someone looking for your freedom, that's something that I see here as well, okay? Um, of course, what you don't see coming at the bottom of the deck, you have the world. So something here is closing out for you and a new cycle is beginning, okay? So let's get into your reading and uh, let's see what's going on for you. Let's clarify the Two of Cups, which is your challenge. So the Two of Cups is clarified by the Justice. You have the Page of Wands and you have the World, okay? So your biggest challenge here is the fact that a relationship that you're involved in is either coming to an end, there's a divorce, there's a disconnection, or if this is not the case, some sort of cycle um, between you and this person is coming to an end. 
Okay, so something here is closing out. There's going to be a new direction or a new path. And your biggest challenge is going to be one of two things. The first thing is, is that you either adapt and you're open to this new beginning, okay, which is gonna bring more balance into the connection that you're already in. Or this could be the fact that you are needing to start figuring out what this new direction is going to mean for you and this person, okay? Is it completely done? Or are you both gonna make a plan to move forward forward together. Okay. So there's a decision here. Okay. Or it could be one phase of your relationship coming to an end while some sort of new phase is starting. Okay. So either way, this is about, you know, um, closing things out. What has no longer been working for you and this person and what needs to change in order to start this new cycle? Because the new cycle that's coming in for you, uh, <clears throat> after March 7th is a cycle of 3.5 years. I believe you can do your research online if you need to, but I know it's a long-term, uh, change that obviously is going to affect you on a very deep level. Cause that's your ruler. Okay. Um, so whatever your ruler is doing in astrology is going to very much have an impact on your life. Okay. So let's talk about the recent past. Let's clarify the Knight of cups. So the Knight of Cups is clarified by the King of Cups. You have the Eight of Cups and you have the Ten of Pentacles. So I feel like in the recent past, there was this on and off energy between you and this person. At one point, they disconnected from you. And at another point, they were all, you know, very much in love with you. I do feel in the past that you and this person may, may have decided to stay together because you felt one um, one that you and this person were, were going to end up being together forever. Okay. Very solid, long-term, long-term stable relationship, wanting to have children, wanting to be together, living together. And then others of you also may have said, Hey, we have a very strong connection. We have things in common. Like we really like very similar things and that's, what's going to hold us together. And I feel like that's why the on and off energy that happened between you and this person in the past didn't last long. Okay. You and this person ended up maybe wanting to be together and, and coming back together. Okay. And that's what I see here in the past. Now in the present moment, uh, you have the six of cups here. So this is a very strong energy of, you know, memories in the past. Um, so, you know, for this connection, just to end like that, it's kind of like question mark. Why tell me more about the seven of cups. You have the Hierophant, the Chariot, and you have the Ten of Swords. So in the present moment, um, I do feel that the reason why something, um, the relationship, it's, the, it's about the relationship. And if you're not in a relationship, this is probably not your reading this week. Okay. Um, so this is about the relationship, the marriage, the commitment that you're in. Is it going to move forward? Are you going to end up getting married to this person? And if you're already married, what is the direction of this relationship? One of the things that I mentioned in your previous reading was one of the things that is going to come to light for you and this person is now that this cycle is coming to an end, it's like, okay, so what's next? What's happening in the future? Um, what are we putting to an end? What, what, like when you're married and you're with someone, there's usually some sort of plan, right? There's usually some sort of direction that you want to go into. And I think right now there's so much confusion and uncertainty that could be the reason why this uh, marriage or commitment may come to an end because there isn't really this um, certainty in terms of, of what's happening, okay? Somebody here could also be keeping their options open. And if that's the case, they wanna put an end to that and move forward with you, okay? And that's why we have the Eight of Swords at the bottom of the deck because someone here doesn't wanna be stuck anymore. They no longer wanna be in this place of being held back. They wanna progress and move forward. And this is a common theme for a lot of the signs right now because when Saturn was in Aquarius, it, first of all, Saturn's very different from Aquarius, even though it is a natural ruler to Aquarius. Um, so now that things are changing, there's a need for more freedom as well. You have the Empress, the Four of Pentacles, and the King of Wands. So someone here in the present moment, and this could be uh, you, you don't want to let go of this person. You don't want things to end. I think you really want to nurture this connection. But at the same time, the overall energy in the present moment is the Queen of Swords. It's like someone here is really logical about everything. They're like, okay, hey, what about this? What about that? How are we going to do this? How are we going to do that? So... I feel in the present moment, there's a desire to be released, a desire to move forward, a desire to make plans. Um, and there's a need to recognize what needs to come to an end presently in order to make room for something new that is going to lead to more balance and more satisfaction within your connection. 
Now, in the near future, you have the Five of Cups. Why? Why is the Five of Cups here in the near future for Capricorn? You have the Three of Wands, the Nine of Wands, and you have the Death. So in the near future, what is coming to an end is the issues that happened in the past between you and this person. So if there was a third party situation, if there was um, trust issues, if there was something here that happened, there's something here that happened in the past that led to a lot of disappointment. But in the near future, because you're not giving up on this, okay, and your person isn't giving up on this, something here is gonna transform and change. And that's what's gonna allow you and this person to move forward. Okay, but it has a lot to do with something here that happened in the past and this person's still thinking about it. It's very similar to the Sagittarius reading. You could be dealing with Sagittarius or you could have Sagittarius in your chart. So in the near future, uh, there's still this, you know, we'll remember when this happened, this failed, this didn't work out. What about that? There is going to be a second chance because someone here is not giving up on it, but it doesn't mean that that's going to not change things. Things are still gonna change. They're not gonna stay the same. I do get in the near future, you or your person, I feel like this is you, you're gonna start becoming more independent, okay? Doing your own thing. If you're somebody who needs to make money or is interested in making money, then starting your own business may be something that you decide to do. I see you achieving something and um, celebrating with this person. And again, this is about you moving outside of your comfort zone because Saturn is at its final uh, sign of the Zodiac till it goes into uh, Aries. So you're kind of in this place where you're ready to grow, you're ready to move forward, you're, you're ready to kind of expand at this point, which is going to lead to a very strong new beginning for you. So it's about not being afraid of this new beginning. It's, it's about not being worried about expanding and, and, and going further. Okay, because Pisces is connected to Jupiter as well. Okay, it's not only connected to Neptune. Before they discovered Neptune, the uh, original ruler was Jupiter. So you may feel that Ju um, Jup Jupiterian energy as well. Okay, you have the Knight of Wands, the King of Swords, and the Wheel of Fortune. Yeah, told you, I was feeling it. The Wheel of Fortune is Jupiter energy. One of the things spirit wants you to know is that if you're not willing to step outside of your comfort zone, if you're not willing to take responsibility, um, you will not be rewarded. Okay. So if you're somebody who's just here, there and everywhere, it's a bad move for a Capricorn because Capricorn is only truly rewarded when they're stable, responsible, and they know what they want. And that comes, that definitely comes with new cycles. There's an expectation here. Okay. And that's why the world is here because something is closing out. And if you're someone who's like, no, I like being comfortable. I like where I'm at. Well then don't, you know, don't expect to have a new beginning. Don't expect things to progress forward if you're not willing to do that. Okay. So there's a very strong energy here of an opportunity in the near future. If you're willing to step outside of that comfort zone, if you like the status quo that you're in now, then it may come to an end abruptly and it may force you into some sort of new direction. And that's part of the karma here because there is karma here with the justice, you know, as your um, challenge. Okay. So let's get some advice for you. You have the temperance, the eight of wands, and you have the nine of cups. Your biggest piece of advice here is to express what you want. If you're just in a place where you're like, oh, whatever, I don't care what happens. Well, then, you know, whatever's supposed to happen to you is just going to happen. But if you're somebody who wants to take control of your life and you want to feel satisfied, then the first thing you need to do is communicate and you need to communicate patiently. You need to be like the temperance patient because during transitions, we're very quick to do things and then we're not thinking about it. And then it happens. And then we say, oh my goodness, why did I do that? So recognize and learn that you're going through a change, which means now you need to realign your priorities by communicating, by taking action. Eight of wands is the card of communication and taking action, but doing so in a very methodical way, temperance. And that's, what's going to lead you to being happy again. That's, what's going to lead you to this place Capricorn of feeling satisfied and fulfilled once again. Okay. So this is what I have for you, Capricorn. I hope this reading helped. Thanks so much for tuning in and I'll see you on the next one. Bye.